Hello NetLab users, this is Rich of the Network Development Group. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the new MKS Viewer in the NetLab VE version 21. Part 2 provides setup guidance for NetLab administrators and I provided a link to that video in the upper right. The MKS Viewer is a new type of viewer in NetLab that allows users to interact with the mouse, keyboard, and screen of a virtual machine from the NetLab user interface. The MKS Viewer has three display modes, Actual Size, Scale Display, and Resize Display. The Actual Size and Scale Display modes work the same as the VNC Viewer you have used in previous versions of NetLab. The Resize Display capability is unique to the MKS Viewer. Actual size mode displays the virtual machine such that one pixel on the virtual machine occupies one pixel in the browser when the browser is zoomed to 100%. We can zoom the settings in the browser and things will adjust accordingly. However, if we resize the client area, the aspect ratio of the VM will stay the same. In this case, we have a 1280 by 768 resolution that was set on the virtual machine by the author of this virtual machine, and that's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Now, if the actual client area gets smaller than our 1280 by 768 resolution, there will be scroll bars to move around. And as we get bigger, the display will stay centered. When we switch to scaled display, the resolution as far as the virtual machine is concerned is still the same, 1280 by 768, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. But the pixels are scaled up and down to try and fit or scale the virtual machine to fit the client area. So as I make the client area smaller, the pixels are scaled smaller. If I make the client area bigger, pixels are scaled up. But we're not changing the actual resolution, we're just changing the pixel size. When we switch to resize display available with the MKS viewer, this is where the magic really starts to happen. So unlike the previous two modes, here, the resolution on the virtual machine actually changes to adjust to the client area. So whatever real estate or pixel real estate that the client area has, this is communicated to the virtual machine through VMware tools, and the virtual machine will adjust its actual display size. So you have a one-to-one -one pixel ratio, um, but the display size will adjust so that all real estate is available. So if I go and maximize this window, you'll notice the resolution is actually changing. So if I maximize my display, I have a nice 4K monitor, and in this case, we're getting almost 2560 by 1215 on the resolution. If we go ahead and go to full screen mode, this is F11 on Windows, on Mac, Command, Control F and we're getting even more dis display area. So from an end user perspective, the MKS viewer will behave pretty much the same way as the VNC viewer does in actual size mode and scale display mode. The resize display mode, however, when enabled, will allow the uh, desktop to resize to match the client area, giving the user the maximum amount of screen real estate available within their browser. Resize mode is only enabled in single user reservation types, such as a student or instructor scheduling lab time for themselves. Resize mode is disabled in multi-user reservation types. These are the instructor-led training and team reservation types. This is necessary to prevent resize conflicts among multiple users. This concludes part one of the MKS viewer overview. If you are a NetLab administrator and would like detailed setup guidance, be sure to click on the link in the upper right hand corner. Thank you for watching.